Hello there. Uh, I'm going to talk about drawing a picture. But you can't guess what it is. I'm drawing a flower. No, I'm not drawing a flower. I'm drawing a scary space monster, which looks like a flower. Uh, I'm drawing out in pencil first because um, y you need you need a little bit more definition when you're drawing one than um, when you've when you've just got some blobby nebula to colour in. You can just use chalk, but I will be using chalk because that seems to be what I do. But I, this is mostly like pencil and watercolour paints, which is uh, kind of like a bit different. Well, it's pencil crayon that I can put water on to make it into paint because they're super duper pencils. Anyway, so here we go. Um, then I start splashing around in a bit, I think. There we go. Yes, you can't see, but I am doing because obviously that's the best way to make a video is to do something off camera to up the tension, build the interest, or, you know, look really incompetent. Anyway, so yeah, you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing a Thargoid, and I'm doing it for somebody off Facebook who said, look, here's a picture of a Thargoid, and it was a fabulous picture of a Thargoid. Really, really good close-up. It's a Medusa, and I always thought Medusas were red, but this 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 one seems to be a, kind of a, a sinister, dark, sort of purplish-blue shade which has got um, the green the green heart lights or the, whatever those are, the scanning lights or the beam lights on each of its petals um, to, um, to sort of suggest that maybe it's not going to kill you instantly. Maybe its swarm are going to hover around you, maybe nibbling at you, like, I don't know, locusts or something. Um, anyway, so yeah. Colouring and colouring and painting with water, uh, doing that thing. Uh, I, I think it's Medusa. I really, I don't know anything much about Thargoids at all. And I just reckon it's Medusa because of the spikes, spiky, spiky. And I think the spikes on the, on the big scary, the Hydra, they all go out like it's a cactus. And I'm not certain that any of the rest of them have spikes. They all just look like fluffy petals. Uh, I know that Basilisk is, isn't, isn't that one this colour. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You, I bet you can count the petals to work it out. I think there's a difference in number of petals if they've got how many hearts they've got. It makes them more threatening, more difficult to kill. I think you have to kill each heart in turn, don't you, as a separate a separate combat episode before it finally gives up the ghost or whatever the aliens have. Anyway, you can see I've started to use proper paint on that now it's just a, a a blob or two of acrylic because it will dry like solid paper and then i can um and it also i've got I happen to have some neon colors in acrylic as well which make it really useful because you can't really well you could but i'm just a bit ham-fisted to make a really good job of it anyway so there i go uh, doing the bits and bobs on the the spikes to make them look a bit more 3d and catching the light it's quite dark but that the the ridges on the surface of the petals are quite quite bright so uh because obviously the, the harsh lighting um gives you that effect and this is the sort of the, the, the sinuous pipe things that take um whatever caustic fluids keep this thing going right to the edge of its petals onto its terrifying spike tips oh, it's great fun isn't it uh in the center you've got the the weird eyeball living space pod and whatever that is as well and i'll try and show that it's kind of got a, got a bit of a glowy blue color to it uh, um that i've not shown you actually yet but i'm starting to use a blue pencil crane so i assume at some stage i will start to do that blue on the central ipod thing <laughs> i think it's either where the the the, the thargoid insect lives or where the brain is I, I don't know or the, the scanning eye is not sure whether they are the ships or whether they're in the ships there's been some suggestion that the thargoids you'll see the thargoid beasties at some stage in game walking around like i don't know the tripods from the tv series the tripods which look great and then you see the, the blobby monsters inside and then the full horror of the late 1980s um well, I thought it was a great show, actually. It was really quite good. And it was probably 1990s, wasn't it? Or not late 1980s. I don't know. I can't remember anyway. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yes, so that's that's basically... I'm going to colour that in. You, you, some people have managed to get really good close-up shots of how that looks. But uh, I'm not doing it anywhere near that much detail. It'll probably just look a little bit blobby. Anyway, I'm doing the nebula now. It's not a nebula, actually. I think it's a 
a shell of powerful light and sound wave and emanations from the Thargoid. You know how when you, when you get uh, interdicted by them and they drop you down and they freeze your ship with their magic eyeball ray and then you hear the, 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 the clanging, bonging noise. <laughs> Uh, that that's that kind of accompanied by that flash of light. Either that, or it's about to wake out. But I think it is the uh, the, the 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 freeze glare thing that this screenshots of. It's such a good screenshot, and I always hate it when people put a screenshot next to the picture when they say, when I send it to them in the post and they go, oh, I get this picture of my screenshot. Here's my screenshot, and they don't show the screenshot. It's such a lovely screenshot. <laughs> my picture's all splodgy and wonky. <laughs> but no, people don't mind too much, so it's okay. Oh, look, I'm starting to do that dark sort of silhouette shadowiness, uh, make it look a little bit more striking and, and vibrant. That's the plan anyway. And pencil crayon is great for that because even if I if and if I want to um turn that into paint afterwards I can do it and make it look kind of washy or I can leave it like harsh and dense so it's um so it gives it that contrast. And that basically it's just like a big salad at the moment. I'm just going around each of the petals, just chewing away at it until it's done. Well, I'll get there in the end. I might actually shut up because I've got not a great deal to say. Talk about the the technique the technique of trying to color something in uh but yeah i don't know i like i like the colors in this one it's so dark and sinister and yet it does have when you look into it quite a quite quite a lot of colors that you can pick out i didn't manage to get the sort of the salmon colors that were in the original screenshot quite as well as the in the original there's quite a lot of kind of like dusky dull kind of sunset shades in there that sort of i don't know whether that's reflection from the ship lights well it might not be if it had sent out its ray because your ship lights go off don't they but this is the, the the ribbing on the uh the heart light the the heart light glow as well i didn't do a particularly good job on that i mean i'm trying to show how it's glowing green but uh i think i think i could have probably spent a bit longer rather than trying to race to get it done by the end. I was watching Lave Radio, the special LaveCon Lave Radio, you see, and I was quite enjoying it. And it's all kind of like, because we'd have all been at LaveCon, you know, sitting in the bar, chatting about nerdy things and playing board games. But obviously we're all at home feeling a bit flat. But Lave Radio really ch cheered me up. Anyway, it was great. It was, it was really enjoyable. And they've, they've had quite a few nice streams that they've done this weekend. So I was enjoying, I was I was doing this whilst I was listening to it, keeping my hands busy. And it was really nice and I just enjoyed it. Yeah, no, it's nice to do something that you can sort of like send to someone and they're like, oh yeah, you have immortalized my moment. Because they'll, they'll know what happened. They'll, they'll have lived this moment. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what went off, but there it is. Anyway. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. <laughs>